Welcome back to Cube. I'm again from in-depth tech reviews. And this is my third video about Android 12 in a very short period of time because there is a lot going out there and I want to be the first to show you what's new with Android 12. In this video, I'm going to give you an early look at three new additions that we should expect in future builds. The automatic theming, the three new tiles for the camera, the mic and Google Pay. And finally, I'm going to show you how to get those two cool widgets from Android 12 on any Android device. So without further ado, let's jump in. So let's start with the automatic theming. And as you see here, I'm using a wallpaper that contains three different colors. By the way, this wallpaper looks very similar to the one showed in John Prosser's leaks about the Pixel 6. So if you want to download it on your phone, I'm going to leave a link in the description below. But for now, let's focus only on the automatic theming. Now let's take a look at the different areas of the OS that will respond to the automatic theming of Android 12 starting with the notification shade that will include the background, the tiles, the sliders, even the notifications as well. All the controls in the notifications are responding. Also, when we go to the app drawer, it's now using a different background. When we go to settings, the text and the toggles are also responding to the new theming. Uh, but when it comes to apps, none of them are yet optimized for this. So don't expect any change here. And when it comes to the lock screen, the new clock of Android 12 is also using a different accent color. And here's how it looks when we dismiss all the notifications. Finally, I'm going to show you the new design of Gboard that we should expect in Android 12 or in the future builds of Android 12. Here's how it looks. There are some buttons that use different colors and they will also respond to your wallpaper. Now let me show you how the UI will respond to different wallpapers. Here I have a different one that uses a blue color mainly. So let's set that on home screen and lock screen. And let's take a look at the notification shade. Here is also the notifications. Let's take a look at the lock screen. And also app drawer and Gboard. And it's also worth mentioning that your lock screen keypad will respond to the automatic theming, including the background. I do really like this new automatic theming because it will give you a fresh new look to your phone every time you change the wallpaper. But don't expect any changes under the styles and the wallpapers app just yet because it only works behind the scenes. But keep in mind the feature is a little bit buggy for now. When I set a live wallpaper and then wait for a few seconds, I might get an error message telling me that Pixel Live wallpaper keeps quitting and it will ask me to stop the app. It will work as expected once you set the wallpaper and it will change your theme but after a while as you see here the wallpaper changed automatically to the default one of the pixel 4a without changing my phone theme so it's better to use it with static wallpapers for now but the question is how to activate automatic theming on android 12 beta 1 to be honest the process is pretty long first you need to root the device to be able to install majisk modules Secondly, there is a developer called KDragon who created the module that will help you activate the features that I'm going to show you in this video. But keep in mind, you need to pay $5 to the developer through Patreon to be able to download the module. Anyways, I'm going to leave the developer's Telegram channel link in the description below. From here, you can tap on the pinned messages, scroll down and you will see the download link. Plus, uh, you can ask for help if you need to. After successfully activating the automatic theming on your device to be able to get the redesigned Gboard that works with it, you need to download an app called the Preferences Manager from Google Play Store, open the app, tap the three dots and then make sure you have Show System Apps. From here, keep scrolling until you find Gboard. Don't use the search in this page because every time you do this, it will force quit. Once you locate Gboard, swipe to the left, it will show you something called flag value.xml. From here, you can use the search normally. Start by typing the word pill, and here you have pill-shaped key. Make sure to set this to true by, by uh, moving the switch and then tap on update. After that, you need to search for something called silk. And here you will see some toggles as well that you can set to true all of them. And finally, you need to look for the word redesign. And anything has the word redesign, make sure it's set to true and sometimes you will find number zero in this case you will need to use the keyboard to make it one and then tap on update do this for all the uh, uh, values and then you will get the same design of gboard i have here 
Before jumping to the next category, let's give a quick shout out to today's sponsor, cdkoffers.com. From CDK Offers, you can purchase original Microsoft Windows 10 and Office keys in a very discounted price. Not only this, but you can also use my special promo code ID20 to get extra 20% discount. As you see, you can get yourself a Windows 10 OEM key for $16.18, which is insanely cheap. Please check the links in the description below. Now let's get back to the review. Now let me show you the new tiles and I will start with the new block camera and the mute microphone tiles. Here as you see they are turned off and when you turn on the switches and then try to open the camera you will get an overlay menu asking you to cancel or turn on the camera if you want to and that's exactly the case with the microphone. So let's try to search using the mic and I'm getting the same overlay menu and when we go back to the tiles you see they are responding to the actions and the third one is google pay tile as you see it says google pay with the word ready and when i tap on it it will take me straight away to my debit card to start paying and there is a small change for the wi-fi tile it's now called internet instead and as per k dragon google is planning to have one menu to adjust all your internet settings including wi-fi and cellular and that's why it's called internet but for now when you tap and hold on it it will take you to the normal wi-fi screen now let's talk about those two new widgets from android 12 they are not related to k dragon's extension modules and they don't require routing your device. They are just a couple of widgets designed using KWGT Pro, which means they work on any Android device just fine. To get the widgets, download the Tropix app and from the home screen under Setups, search for Stock 12. And here you will see a button called Widget Backup, tap on it and then tap on Download Backup. It will take you to Google Drive and here you can highlight the first two files and then tap on Download. After downloading the widgets, you need to install KWGT Pro from Google Play Store and it will cost you around $6. Then go ahead and open your files app or any file manager you use. Then go to your internal storage. From here, create a new folder called custom with the, with the letter K. After creating this folder, go inside and create another folder called widgets. After creating the two folders, copy the downloaded KWGT files in this folder. Then go to your widgets screen and then choose the size four by two. This is the best size I found to work with this widget. Then tap on it. It will show you the new widgets you imported over here under your library. Then choose the one you want and then tap on save go back to your home screen and you will see it over here and the same steps apply to the weather widget but in case the weather widget failed to show your temperature you can fix the issue by going to the kwgt app from the app tap the three dots at the top right corner and then go to app settings from here go to location and make sure the app have access to your location first and then go to weather and the tap on force update and if you want to change the weather units or the temperature units, you can go to general settings and here you have measurement units to choose between metric or imperial. So that's pretty much it for today. That was an early access to three of the features expected to come to Android 12 in future builds. So please let me know in the comments what do you think about them and if you are willing to activate them on your device right now. So I hope you like my video and if you do, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching.